in this episode, we get up, get out, and do something on South Padre Island. Jorge, Omar, and my godson, Aníbal, wanted to join me, so we all decided to meet at the Beach Access 6 entrance. The tide was high, and the beach was crowded. We knew driving on soft sand was inevitable, so we took the time to lower our tire pressure as we planned on driving all the way to the East Cut. While we waited on our friend Sterling, I decided to fly the drone up the coast in order to scout the area and assess the high tide situation. My heart sank when my controller alerted the drone signal was lost and was now wandering off on its own. So the recon mission turned into a search expedition for the drone. You, you can go straight if you want, dude. I'm just going to go to the back. Folks, sorry to bother you. Did you all see a drone hit that? I resorted to asking beachgoers if they'd seen my drone. Hi, I'm so sorry to bother you all. Did you all see a drone around here? It went back that way? Thank you. I finally got a break when a large group of people told me they'd seen the drone heading back south. I encountered my buddy Ray, but I had no time to chat. Looking for my drone. Lost signal, so I'm, I'm heading over there. I'll catch with you in a little bit. We returned to the exact spot where I launched it in the hopes the return to home feature worked accurately. I couldn't find it, but then this happened. Look at this. We had lost the drone. We went looking for it about two miles that way. And now it's back on its own. Is it unharmed? Is it unharmed? Oh my God, <laughs> we got the drone. Yes, thank you God. We did it, yes. Omar saw it. That's Sterling, bro. I didn't have any money, so I was like, ah, uh, it. Oh, you're a psychopath, there. man. Let's go, dude. Yeah, I'll follow you guys. All right, badass. We were happy to find Sterling. He helped me out with a video, but he unfortunately had to park his XJ due to some overheating issues. He jumped in Omar's Raptor, and we continued escorting Jorge to the East Cut. We made it to the East Cut where I prepared lunch for the crew. So let's see how that works. 
Oh, shit. I was able to shoot a product video and had a chance to meet up with some friends. Hey guys, so yeah, uh, Emilio and his boy Levi and his wife, they came and visited us, uh, paid us a visit, uh, drove all the way up here. Did you have a good time at the water park, you said? Okay, well, I got something for you. So as you guys know, I've been telling you that I've been trying to promote uh, more involvement, you know, and trying to educate kids um, as parents, grandparents, uncles, whatever, you know, of car culture, all right? Now, it doesn't matter what car you're talking about. As long as it's cars, I love them. But I decided to literally make this uh, uh, off-road Overland Trucks of the World. I actually made this coloring book, and it's pretty neat. And uh, I want this one, you know, for Levi here because Levi is exactly who I'm talking about when I'm talking about this. His dad, you know, he's all into overlanding. He's into outdoors, having good old time. Hopefully you'll find, oh, you're welcome, Levi. Let's see if you can find your dad's uh, Tacoma somewhere in there, man. I, it's, it's somewhere in there, somewhere, somewhere. Yeah, so it's got all sorts of Land Cruisers and Jeeps and, you know, G-Wagons or, you know, all sorts of stuff. Yes, and of course I did include, you know, vehicles like my GX over here. But um, I went with all the classics, vehicles that have inspired me, that I love. And uh, the way I was thinking was, well, maybe somebody like Levi over here, when he's out here with his dad and his mom, and he's a little bored because then, you know, maybe it's raining and he's inside the rooftop tent and he doesn't have anything to do. Maybe with some colors. Levi, you can just, you know, pick your best, your favorite, uh, your favorite vehicle there and, and go to town on it. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's your, that's similar to your dad's truck. That's the closest we're gonna get to your dad's truck right there, man. So on these, just adjusting them. So pretty much you gotta lodge it in, uh, get it to an angle where it won't move anymore. So like on this one, I think this one is a little bit loose where I gotta maybe adjust it. Okay. Yeah, yeah so see right there. It, what about, uh, do you tether it down, kind of like the way I have it with... with uh... So you can. Uh, I've never done it. Uh, I know with the, the cords that you do, you attach it, I believe, onto the anchors here. It's just, I guess, for higher winds. Oh, okay. Also, I have the walls. The only thing is, when I ordered them, I didn't know you needed to buy the other two walls. Oh. So I have for this side, so now I still need to get this other side to enclose it completely. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Hey guys, and this is Omar's 2019 Raptor. You know, he has done some pretty cool stuff here. What I guess the number one thing that really pops is that roof rack. He actually designed it and he had some of the metal cut and then he had it, uh, uh, I guess, with bed liner, you know, Herculiner. That's what he used, you know, to have it. He's barely building it up. I mean, yeah, he's, he, he's got some aesthetics here. You know, he's got a, a company here and that he put his logos on it. But then he just installed for this little trip, day trip. It was more of a experimental trip for him. And uh, he's been gathering some of these things, you know, made sure that he's got his, um, his recovery points going on. He's got the bed rack over here. And uh, he's got plans, man. He wants to come and join us more often. You know, so we might be seeing more of Omar in the future. But uh, I think it looks pretty sweet. He had zero, zero issues bringing it <clears throat> over here to the East Cut. And uh, I think it's a very nice, unique little ride. Um, especially when our used to is Toyotas and Jeeps and stuff like that. It's nice to see a Raptor out here. One cool thing about hanging out here, you get to meet some subscribers. I have Chris, Chris in his Rubicon over there. He said he saw me a little while ago. Uh, he was taking care, he was doing his duty. Yeah, I was pulling duty. a stuck car out. I was uh, sitting there at camp, a guy come by. He's like, hey, can you help me out? He wanted to, wanted to rent a rope. And I was like, ah, dude, you're not renting a rope. He's like, just take me down there, I'll pull you out. Yeah. Just, just passed it forward. Need some air conditioning, so we decided to, you know, build a trailer. And, yeah. 
Built it I, around a queen bed and stuck a window unit in it, and here we are. And you're here every weekend, you say? Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much in the summer. Um, when it cools off, we go up North Hidden Falls, do the razor ride and rock climbing. Nice. That's, that's pretty much our year. We had a nice and relaxing time at the cut, but we wanted to get back to Sterling's XJ closer to the beach entrance. I felt it was just better to cook dinner next to his vehicle so it wouldn't be abandoned in the darkness. All right, guys, so we made it all the way south. Remember, uh, Sterling's uh, Jeep is over here. Thank God it was still here when we got here, but it's time to cook up some steaks. So we just moved, picked up camp, and brought it closer to the entrance kind of like the end of the road over here uh, where he had left his Jeep so let's go ahead and season up some steaks see what we got here we got some ribeyes let's get them ready yes I did wash my hands these are some thick boys so it's probably gonna take a lot of fuel man and unfortunately I don't have a real fire out here so it's gonna be interesting to see how it turns out see See what happens, man. Go for it. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I'm gonna try a little rosemary. Okay. Put a little rosemary in there. Well, not a little, but a lot of butter, like a nice chunk of butter here. Now I've never done it like this because normally I would have my grill and the other situation. So I want to see how this turns out. Look at this steak right here. Uh, should be at temperature now, but man, I'm just curious as to how it's going to look. So please wish me luck. You think it's okay? Yeah. See? It's okay. All right. All right, that one on me. All right, I'm gonna try this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 this is how I like it. Mm. Friends, sorry for the abrupt ending to the video, but a fast and sudden storm was about to hit us and we had to pick up camp. Good news is that everyone had a wonderful dinner and we made it out without issue. I want to thank Sterling, Omar, Emilio, Jorge, and my godson Aníbal for bringing their positive vibes. Thanks again for the support. Get up, get out, do something.